Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about Trousseau Sign. So let's get started. Trousseau Sign is a specific type of muscle spasm that occurs in the hand and wrist due to neuromuscular irritability, which tends to be a definitive sign of low calcium in the blood, hypocalcemia. It can also occur whenever a patient has a low magnesium level in the blood. Now how do we assess for a Trousseau Sign? Well, you're looking for either a positive or a negative sign. Positive meaning the patient has it, negative meaning they do not. So in order to do this, you need a manual blood pressure cuff, along with being aware of the patient's latest blood pressure reading. Specifically, you wanna be aware of that systolic number of the blood pressure reading, which is the top number. Next, you wanna place the blood pressure cuff on the arm and inflate this cuff to a pressure greater than the patient's systolic number and hold it there for about three minutes. Now, while you are holding it there, you want to look at that arm that has the blood pressure cuff on it, specifically that hand and wrist. And you wanna monitor the reaction that is occurring on that side. If it is positive, the hand will draw in toward the body and flexion will occur at the wrist thumb and MCP joints, but the fingers will remain extended. And if nothing occurs during this, that means that it is a negative Trousseau sign. So why does this occur? Well, whenever we place a cuff on a patient's arm and we inflate it above their systolic blood pressure, we are occluding the brachial artery. And the brachial artery gives blood flow to the structures down here, like your forearm, your wrist, and your hands. Well, whenever a patient has a low calcium level, their nerves and muscles are already irritable and too excited. So whenever we impede that blood flow, hence cause ischemia, it's gonna cause these structures down here to spasm. Okay. Okay, so that wraps up this review over Trousseau Sign. And if you'd like to watch more review lectures, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.